morning guys. Today we're doing the day in the life of Pokedaxi. <laughs> Kidding, this is not the first thing I do in the morning. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. As requested for 200K, you guys voted on seeing the day in the life of me. What do I do in a day? So after that water to the face, we're gonna be doing that all day and I'm gonna walk you guys through what my average day pretty much looks like. Now, every single day I will wake up or between 7 and 8 a.m., depending on what the day is. I like to keep a flexible schedule and thankfully doing YouTube allows me to keep a flexible schedule. So some days I'll wake up at 7 if I have more work to do, and then some days I'll wake up at 8 and sometimes even 9 if I wanna take the day more relaxed or it's my day off. My hair also does look crazy in the morning as probably all of your hair does. So don't judge, don't judge. The first thing I will generally do every single day is get breakfast or go on a run depending on if it's a day I'm gonna go on a run. I went and ran yesterday Yesterday, so today is not a run day, so you guys are not gonna see me run. So today we're just gonna go directly to breakfast and get ourselves a nice meal. Very important to play Pokemon Go. Okay, so breakfast. Breakfast for Pokedaxi, what do I eat? There's a couple different breakfasts I generally have, which are my go-tos. Number one is just eggs and toast, simple. Um, one of my favorites, honestly, recently, I feel like my breakfast cycle kind of changes of what I'm currently eating. Um, also, I do enjoy yogurt with fruit, and you put a little honey in there, makes it a little nice. Other than that, though, right now, those are pretty much my main two. Of course, smoothies and all that stuff are always a go-to, but I feel like my breakfast cycle, like what I'm currently eating, like what I'm really into, I'll eat for like, you know, three months, and then like, nah, it's gross, I'll try something else. So I think for this morning, I'm just gonna go classic eggs and toast, um, so let's get going. Breakfast montage. So I'm just gonna voice over this part because my audio got corrupted. Pretty much guys, once I've made breakfast, I will go ahead and watch Pokemon Go YouTuber content, generally PVP videos. That morning, I believed I watched them day in Ottawa. Breakfast is a great time for me to pretty much just like relax, get ready for the upcoming day, but you know, not put too much pressure or stress on myself. It was definitely a pretty good breakfast. Okay, so generally after breakfast, I am going to go ahead and shower and get kind of ready because like, look what I'm wearing and my hair. <laughs> Honestly, every day will be kind of a different time at this point. I kind of went to bed late last night because I was watching No Country for Old Men, which is a movie I haven't seen and it was pretty good if you've seen it. We are getting a little bit of a later start today, but it doesn't matter too much. We're gonna go ahead, get ready for the day now before we hop into our work for the day. The bathroom is a mess, I have to clean it. Bamboo toothbrush, save the planet. Okay, after I brush my teeth, sometimes I will use Listerine uh, mouthwash. Honestly, not very often, but mm, there's none left, so we're not gonna do that, but sometimes I do that to freshen up. And then you gotta floss. I'll be honest, guys, I forget to floss 99% of the time. I'm just doing it because I'm on camera. But don't forget to floss, I swear it's important. And I think you're supposed to floss before you brush your teeth. Okay, now I'm just gonna go ahead and shower, clean up a little bit, and we're gonna see you guys in a second. Okay, for anyone curious how I style my hair, I'm gonna show you. I use this random pomade I got from, it's Old Spice from the drugstore. All I do is put it right through there. Pokedaxi hair tip tutorials. <laughs> I just flow it, flow it back, you know, keep that, that flow. Then I'll take a comb and just comb it back. Pretty much like, how Elvis did it back in the day. I'm gonna go ahead and just do that all the way back. And you might look at me and be like, bro, what is this? This is the start of something beautiful. This is how I generally style my hair. If I just let it dry in this position, it'll usually turn out to how it looks um, on camera, just kind of like flowing back. Honestly, it is time for a haircut for me, so I'm gonna have to do that soon. But for now, this is the best I got until I go to the barber shop and get a haircut that I don't need to style like this. But yeah, this is how I style my hair. Grease it back, let it dry, 
and then the magic, let the magic happen pretty much. Okay, before we start work, I'm gonna make my bed and do a couple more things. I'd like you guys to meet Mr. Pig and also Fluffy. I've had Fluffy since I was a kid. Call me a loser for keeping my plushies since I was a kid, but I'm bringing this, this guy? My kid's gonna have this thing. This is going down for generations. This thing was just a gift. I still love it though. Gotta refill the humidifier. That is not a smoke machine, everybody. That is literally just a humidifier. It's just something that will kind of humidify, humidify the room during the winter because the air does get pretty dry out here during the winter time. And we're gonna now slide you back in here. Yeah, there you go. So now you're in the position of where uh, most of all the videos get filmed. So you guys got a little look around. It is now time to work. Let's go through how the workday looks. So I love to use um, Google Calendar to do um, pretty much all of my scheduling. As you can see, it's pretty filled to the brim here. Now, uh, pretty much how I have it sorted out here for anyone curious, black stuff is called my routine stuff. You guys can do this as well, but it's pretty much stuff you're gonna do on the daily. Of course, like breakfast, bathroom stuff, you know, sleeping. You don't have to put sleep on your schedule. I don't know why I just have it there. I guess just to know how long I slept and keep track of that. Then any uh, light red stuff, that's gonna be uh, school stuff. I am in college going to um, Algonquin College, which is fully online, but uh, that is pretty much just school stuff. Every single purple thing is going to be Pokedaxi. So as you can see, Pokedaxi does take a, a decent amount of the day every single week. If I go back, you know, certain days more, certain days less, I'm gonna really hops around. And then any of the uh, green stuff, that is my freelance other work. So obviously it's pretty light here. As you can see, I did three things last week for other production companies I work for. And then finally, the yellow is just like chilling, uh, hanging out. I'll, generally, I won't put the yellow stuff on the uh, schedule, but for example, this weekend, I'm going to a smash house. So yeah, that's pretty much how I schedule my day, and I usually have it the day before. Anything I need to make sure I do that day, I will do. Obviously, it doesn't get done at the exact same time that I say it's gonna get done. For example, here, social media for the entrepreneur, that is one of my classes I'm taking. And obviously, it's way past, it's like I was supposed to do that from eight to nine, but obviously, it's already nine and I haven't done it. So sometimes things will get moved around. Don't be too strict on your schedule. That is something I learned honestly a, a while ago, but I learned and it's pretty important is that you just kind of got to be light with your schedule. Don't force yourself too much. Just make sure you're getting everything you want done in a day, but don't overpack it and make sure you have room to move around. So yeah, we're going to honestly hop into the work. Pretty much what I have to do before lunch is do my homework for the social media class. I got to edit the community day tips video and then some other uh, admin work for the channel. So I'm going to get on that. I'll see you guys when I see you. Okay, so um, I just finished up the first edit of the day. I have two edits to do. Now, generally I would actually record a video right before I edit it. I kind of do them all at once, but because I knew I was gonna be using my camera a lot today, I thought might as well record yesterday. So I recorded two videos yesterday, one of them being a video about shadow starter Pokemon and one of them being uh, the community tips for this weekend. Community this weekend? Sandrew, Sandrew. And then I just decided I'm going to go ahead and edit them all today. So I pretty much recorded one day and then edit the other day. But generally what I'll do is I'll record edit all one video in one day and then just generally do like one video a day kind of thing to, to, to keep up with the uploads. And then of course some days I just uh, only record shorts instead of full length videos. So yeah, that is pretty much the first video of the day done. Now I still gotta do the thumbnail and stuff like that but we do have something special going on today and that is gonna be a lucky trade. So I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride. That's gonna be at 12. It's currently 10.25 so there's still an hour and a half until I actually have to leave. So I'm gonna finish this thumbnail. I'm gonna do a couple other things I have to deal with and then once I'm done that, we'll go out, do our lucky trade and also grab lunch on the way. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay guys, so it is currently 11 a.m. I just finished up the thumbnail for that video I just edited. And before I start on my other stuff, I'm dropping some new moderator applications. Um, if you wanna be, become a mod on the channel, which I believe are out now, you can check the community tab on the channel. But before I do that, it is time to post a TikTok. So unlike YouTube, TikTok, which is my other one of the other platforms I use, um, doesn't actually have a scheduling feature, so I actually have to do it manually. So I'm just gonna walk you guys through that process. This is my TikTok account here, all this stuff. Pretty much just click the plus button. Now I have this SSD, which plugs right into 
at my phone and on this I have all my TikToks ready to post. So what you're gonna see here is I'm gonna go ahead and click upload. I'm gonna be able to come in here, scroll down, look for the folder that says TikTok. Right now I only have eight ready to go, but pretty much I can go ahead and here, like, is this the video I wanna post? Is this the video I wanna post kind of thing? Um, and pretty much just go ahead and choose a video to post every single day and have them pretty much ready. Now I believe the video I wanted to post today, it was a video of rating Ralts Community Day, the past Ralts Community Day, I was giving a rating out of 10 on how good I thought it was Community Day. Pretty much go in here, I just go ahead and add music. So I'm just gonna choose a song that's kind of a vibe. Change it the audio. I already have this stuff like stuck in my head because I've done this so many times. Usually music 20%, audio 140. Go ahead and add a nice thumbnail here. Um, what would you rate it? Because I'm actually curious what people actually rate it. I think I gave this one like a seven out of 10, not 100% sure. And then give it a thumbnail. And if you don't want TikTok, you can kind of scroll through and give it a thumbnail based off the video. Usually I will take the artwork of the community, like this one. Bang, put that in there, click save, should be good. And then we just click post. Now I do have a reminder every day and I just click done, remind so I don't forget to do that. And there you go, loads in the top left corner and then we're set. Yeah, every single day, um, 11 a.m. and 3 p.m. I post my TikToks just two a day. I used to do three a day, but then it got a little bit too much work for me. It's a little hard to keep up, so I went with something more consistent, which is 11 and 3 p.m. So yeah, follow me on TikTok if you don't. Link below. If you don't get access to TikTok, then sorry about that. I know some people don't get access to that, which kind of sucks. I'm gonna continue doing the stuff I gotta do, and then in a bit, we're gonna head out and do that lucky trade and grab lunch. Okay guys, it is currently 12, so we're about to head out to actually go and do a lucky trade and grab ourselves lunch. I actually forget what we're lucky trading. Let's go. Okay, so it is time to go. You guys can see the hair is kind of coming into fruition. It's a little fluffy though, I still need a haircut. Now, generally when I do drive around, it wouldn't be in this car, but usually I would have an actual phone holder right here so I could throw my phone in there and then use the Pokeball Plus to spin stops. Obviously that's not a thing today, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pop it in the cup holder right down here, if you can see it. Check the Ball Plus, go ahead and just have it on spin stops while I go out. Sometimes I'll throw it on catch Pokemon as well. It pretty much just allows me to just drive around, go through my day while still catching Pokemon and playing Pokemon Go. And this is generally how I I play Pokemon when I'm not like just doing regular uh, like just regular day-to-day -day life is I use Pokemon Go as a game to play when I'm out doing other stuff generally do I really go out by myself to just go play Pokemon Go on an odd day it's not very likely anymore generally when I'm going out is because I'm live streaming an event or something like that and then I just bring Pokemon Go along when I'm doing other mundane tasks during the day. we're gonna go ahead drive downtown do this lucky trade and then grab lunch come along for the ride Okay guys, so I just went ahead and did the lucky trade. I'll put it up on screen. Ended up being a 93, which is not bad, but the uh, girl who I traded with did get a 98, which is pretty good for them. So yeah, um, we're gonna go ahead and grab lunch now. Usually I would do lunch at home, but today, you know, we're gonna, we decided I'm out here. Why not go ahead and treat myself a little bit, which we do sometimes. So I think we're gonna be going, honestly, I don't know where I'm gonna go for lunch. I think I'm just gonna start driving and then as I'm driving home, I'll kind of decide. Usually, some of the main places I will order in Ottawa are Cosmos, Freshy, and A&W. Those three are pretty much my main go-tos right now. They all have decent vegetarian options. A&W is a little more greasy, but you know, sometimes you gotta eat the greasy food. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start driving and I'll update you when I decide where we're gonna go for lunch. Can I get a Beyond Meat combo with a Sprite? Do you want cheese on it? Uh, yeah, please. Okay, guys, we got some food. Now we head home. Okay guys, so I'm back here at the dinner table back home. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this food and then we're gonna get back to editing. Honestly, you guys are kind of seeing what it's like in my life. Like as much as I actually go ahead and post videos, most of my time is actually spent behind the table, um, chilling, editing, and then pretty much just taking breaks in between lunch. And then of course, when the weather is nice enough, I go outside, but unfortunately it's still super cold. So recording videos outside is kind of tough right now. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and eat this food and uh, we'll catch back up with you with what we're doing next after this. Oh yeah, and anyone curious what we got? We got some sweet potato fries, Beyond Burger, a Sprite, and we're gonna be watching some Home Slice Henry during lunch.
Okay, so after that very nice treat of a lunch, um, it's time to get back to the editing table. Before I do go ahead and uh, continue editing for the day, I just wanna note that you guys gotta be flexible and this is what I've learned, is you gotta be flexible with your schedule as much as you possibly can. Now, if you look back at the morning, um, it looks completely different now. What I did, I ended up editing the shadow video first about the shadow starters and then I did some admin work. So I left the community tips to be done at the end of the day. Since I don't like my work being like cut in half, like edit half, half a video, take a break, continue. Um, I, I generally will do short tasks if I have something to do in the middle of the day and then go ahead and take a break. And then my mom will come up and say, hey Betsy, hi guys, how's it going? When are we going out on some grind today? No. <laughs> <laughs> bye. Okay, bye. Generally, I will do the smaller tasks at the start of the day and then go ahead if I have something I have to go do. For example, I want to do the trade and now all I have to do for the rest of the day is edit this tips video and then I'm kind of done. I don't know if you guys can relate, but generally being like doing half your work and then having to like take a huge break or go do something completely else or like something that's actually time dependent, it's not my favorite. So I try to organize my day like that in which I'm doing, when I, when I start a task, I'm doing the whole task and then I'm done instead of doing that task uh, separately, if that makes sense. Back to the editing tape, I'm gonna go ahead and edit up this tips video. We'll see you guys when I'm done. And another video is done. So that is it for the editing for the day. Anyone's wondering how long that actually took me? Um, I started at around 1.30. It is currently 3.11. So about a little under two hours in terms of editing, um, which is not bad for a 13 minute full of graphics, all that stuff. If anyone doesn't know by now, I edit all my own videos. Every single thing created on my channel in terms of content is generally done by me, except for some things I outsource like logos. All the video content is done by me. So all I gotta do now is make a thumbnail so I'm gonna quickly do a thumbnail because if you don't know YouTube, it's not just making videos. You also gotta make the thumbnail. You gotta add the, you know, the metadata, the tags and all that stuff. So that's what I do after. That stuff usually generally to only take me 15 minutes depending on how complicated the thumbnail is. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a thumbnail for this video now. Pretty much just make it ready to, so I can click post at any time I want and then I'll be done this edit completely. Okay, so pretty much, honestly, I'm pretty done for the day. I do have to post again, if you guys don't remember, 11 a.m. and 3 p.m. And it's currently 4 p.m., so I actually forgot to post, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that real quick right now. Okay, so I'm done that. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show my screen and pretty much show you guys that every day is kind of different for me. Obviously you guys got to see today that, looking at the schedule here, we did about probably five, six hours of work on the for the YouTube channel. One hour was just getting lunch and you know doing a trade and about like 40, 45 minutes of homework. It really just depends on my week and that is a thing about being a YouTuber, being a business owner, you could say, or a person who doesn't, who is not there, who doesn't have a boss, you could say, is that you could always do more work, right? I'm done, it's 4 p.m. right now, I have the option to either say, hey Dax, you've done enough work for today, take the day off, relax, or I could be I could be recording another video right now. I could spend the next four or five hours recording a bunch of videos, editing them. And that's like a huge thing that I'm still working on and I'm sure a lot of people who are kind of like their own boss, you could say, are working on, is kind of deciding when is it good enough to take a break? When is it wind down time? When is it time to relax? And that is something I have been learning more recently, um, when to kind of just, just relax. So that's something I'm doing, but funny enough and something I I thought was gonna happen today. Niantic just dropped a new blog post and it looks like it's for the Festival of Colors event. So generally when Niantic does drop a blog post, I do instantly make a video as quick as possible. Generally 4 p.m. EST is when they drop it and they just did it. So looks like I was gonna take a break and relax now, but I'm gonna just quickly make a video for this. It shouldn't be that long. It's probably live on the channel already. But yeah, that's probably what we're gonna do next. And then after that, we're gonna be done working on Pokédexy for the day. So there you go, I am done the video for that. And that's another aspect of my life you guys get to see. When news does get dropped, I do not have it inside with Niantic, so I pretty much kind of, uh, like depending if I'm free, I'll, I'll go ahead and make a video. Obviously if I'm doing something else, I'll wait till I'm done that and then make a video, but um, I don't have any inside access to anything. I pretty much, when news gets dropped, sometimes I'm gonna have to move things around because I gotta make a video about that news because I wanna get you guys that info really quick. But with that being said, that is pretty much it for the work part of the day. Again, we were talking about earlier, you gotta make sure you take breaks, so now is the time 
time to take breaks. But I'm actually not gonna take a break. Um, I did say that I usually run in the mornings, but honestly, I, I kind of lied. Recently, I've been running in the nighttime just because I feel like that's when I have time. Um, it's a good way for me to de-stress as well, kind of run after work or whatever. So I'm gonna go ahead, hit just a little 2K. Like it's not gonna be anything big, but I don't know, it just kind of like refreshes me, maybe puts me a little more energy. And then after that, I'm gonna have a snack because actually here in the Brule residence, my mom is French. And if you guys don't know in Europe, man, they eat so late. Um, we generally eat at like 9 p.m. at night. So um, me being, you know, not born in France and not learning how to deal with this, I get pretty hungry around um, around this time, I'd say five, because I eat breakfast at like eight, lunch at 12, snack at five, and then generally dinner at like nine. Sometimes it's even 10, it gets super late. So first thing we're gonna do is do a run, then we're gonna have a snack, and then we're just gonna wind down for the rest of the day. I think some of my friends wanna play some video games. Fortnite, I'm gonna play some Fortnite. I know, Pokedaxi does play Fortnite. Recently, Fortnite has been actually pretty fun, especially during the winter when I can't go outside to play Pokemon Go, especially when it's pitch black and like negative 15. Um, I generally play games on my PS4 or my Switch because I have both um, and Fortnite is the game that we're recently playing so probably gonna play some of that but first things first let's go for a run It does get pretty cold generally when I'm running so I always wear a long sleeve and then something to keep my core warm This is like the only long sleeve like running shirt I have so I definitely need to buy some more soon yeah, this is generally what I wear. And then depending on the temp, I'll wear a vest. But what I like to do is, Alexa, what's the weather outside? Okay, okay, stop, stop. Alexa, stop. So yeah, Alexa helps me out with choosing what I should wear. Negative one, this sh I should be fine in this, especially with gloves um, and a hat. Well, actually, it's not really a hat. My Lulu headband, look at that. We are gonna change camera though, because I don't really wanna carry around my super heavy camera here. That would be exhausting. I'm just going for a run. So we're gonna go for a run. Um, as I start my run, do you guys have any good podcasts or anything like that? Let me know. Before I used to listen to a lot of music while running, but recently I've been like, kind of in a podcast stage though. Do you have any good podcasts, interesting podcasts? Comment them below. Okay, well that's it. Two kilometers. Didn't do a very fast time. I'm, I haven't run in a long time. Back in the day, like when I was like in high school, I used to run like half marathons. Like easy, of course COVID, gained a couple pounds, you know, my treatment. So now I'm trying to get back into running, get it going. But it's not easy when there's all this snow. That's something I have to work on. Um, so yeah, that's my run for today. Back inside we go. Alexa, turn on the light. Okay. <laughs> okay guys, um, just got back to my run. Uh, as you guys can see, just drying off. Usually I don't, I don't no, know that one. Alexa, stop. <laughs> Usually I just use a towel and dry off after. No need to shower a second time because I'm probably gonna shower in the morning anyway. Now is pretty much my chill time. It is currently 6.06 .06 for anyone curious what the time is. And pretty much my work day is done. Again, cycling back to what I told you guys before, I feel like it's very important to have that wind down time, um, especially when you don't have a boss and like that's controlled. When you control when you work and when you don't work, make sure that you're not overworking and having an actual schedule in which, you know, you're not spending all day doing work and you actually have time to hang out with friends and do things like that. So a couple plans for tonight. I think obviously dinner is gonna be late at nine. I'm also gonna go grab a snack in a second after I've cooled down. I have a friend who I'm messaging to see if we can do something. If that falls through, then watching a movie never hurts me. I've really wanted to watch, uh, I think Steven Spear, uh, Sp 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 um, West Side Story. I think you have to pay for it. Maybe it's worth renting. I don't know. That might be what I watch tonight. We'll see. So yeah, let me cool down, grab a snack, and um, I'll update you guys after that with uh, what, what is actually going down. Yo, also, a very important part of my cool down ritual, putting on my sweat shorts. These shorts are honestly the only thing I really wear when people, uh, well, when I'm at home and kind of winding down the day. I have like six pairs of them that are like the exact same model, just different colors. My girlfriend hates them, but I literally wear them because they're just so comfortable. And like, when you're in the house and no one's gonna see you, wear the most comfortable thing. I'm not gonna wear some nice jeans.
So I took the rest of the night pretty slow. I ended up watching Inception with my dad. Honestly, such a good movie. I, I haven't watched it in a long time. It was nice to watch it again. Then Pokemama made us a very yummy dinner and Nala had her dinner as well. Finally, I ended off the night playing some Fortnite, like I said I would with some friends. We ended up winning the last game, which is pretty lit. GG's, GG's. Okay guys, so it is currently 11.47. Pretty late, honestly. Generally, I don't stay up this late. Um, that is pretty much the day in the life. I ended up playing some Fortnite, hanging out, and taking the last couple hours of the day chill, which is pretty much what I usually do. Again, I'm not trying to do too much work. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know below. But honestly, I hope this gave you an idea of the day in the life of Daxi. Now, I'll be honest, this video is not the most accurate because my life can change up so much. When you're a YouTuber, every day is different, right? Some days are exactly like this, you know, a little bit of work, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Some days, for example, leading up to like GoFest, I'm, I'm non-stop working, pumping out videos so you guys know all the info for these big events. Right now, it is more of a chill season, chill time, so no, not as much work needs to go into the videos, but it will really fluctuate, right? Some days, for example, if it's a community day, I'm gonna be out all day streaming, recording, and then when I get back editing, like it's gonna be a full Pokey Daxi day, and none of the other things like my freelance work or anything like that will get into get get any play really. So yeah, this is pretty much you know one of the possible days. If you guys enjoyed this video, let me know below. Now the other two votes for the channel 200k video was a editing tutorial and a room tour. You guys kind of got to see a little bit of a room tour, but we will be making those two videos later, probably in the next two months, I say every month, I'm gonna probably drop a video around more of my life and less Pokemon Go. So don't worry, those videos are dropping, but for this month, day in the life, it happened. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys got a little insight on how my life goes. And if you have any questions about, you know, anything you saw in this video or routine, I don't know, feel free to comment below. I'll answer all the questions about my life um, that people, that, were, that I'm willing to answer. So yeah, that's it guys. I really appreciate y'all tuning in. Hopefully you guys have an amazing rest of your day. We're gonna see y'all in the next one. Welcome to everyone. Peace.